when you're doing a mushroom trip, how many grams are you supposed to do? I see this question come up a lot in the comments and I wanted to address it so that people can have a safe experience. But for those that want a deep experience, they can have that as well. Calculating the dosage that is right for you is very personal because everyone has a different body. And I have friends who trip with one gram and they have a very deep experience. And I have friends who trip on seven grams and they have quite a mild uh, or medium experience. So, so it's a calibration thing, you know. You have to basically test different dosages and see where you're at. If it's your first time, of course, be gentle, go easy. I would say start with one gram. But if you're very cautious, maybe go 0.5 uh, of a gram. And then if you don't feel much, then the next trip, you can do two grams. The next trip, you can do three grams and just slowly work your way up. And I think also for dosage, you know, if you're going to test it that way, you have to use the same type of mushroom, the same strain. Because if you're trying out different strains, they're going to have different effects. Three grams of golden teachers is different than three grams of blue meanies, which is different than, you know, three grams of penis envy mushrooms. You're having very different uh, experiences on each of those strains. But in general, I would say one gram to start with. Personally, I do at least three grams for my trips. And these days I often do five to six grams. All of these measurements are meant for dry shrooms. There are some countries where you can only get fresh shrooms, like in a smoothie or just like a bag of fresh shrooms. And in that case, the measurements are not going to be accurate because when the mushrooms are fresh, they're 80% water. So, and it also depends on how recently they were picked. Like the potency really varies. You're not going to get an accurate measurement by putting them on a scale. Again, you basically have to calibrate your way to what is the right dose for you. So if you're doing fresh shrooms, go easy, you know, start slow, start gentle, and then up your dose as you go along. But it's, it's really hard to measure the fresh shrooms accurately. But for dry shrooms, you can definitely be more accurate. So with dry ones, you start with one gram. If that's not enough, go to two, go to three. You'll know when you need more. If you're just feeling a mild high, but you're not getting insights, you're not getting downloads, you're not getting breakthroughs, you're probably not taking enough. And it's a bit of a dangerous thing for me to say because I don't want to encourage people to recklessly do more than they can handle. But if you're not feeling much, you're not feeling much. So you need more if you want to have a proper trip. And so... If you'd like a deep trip and you haven't been feeling one, try and increase the dose or try a different strain. So maybe the mushrooms that you're getting, they're not strong enough for you and you need something stronger. Like I had a friend who he would have OK trips on Golden Teachers. But when I brought him Blue Meanies, which are known to be quite visual, quite strong, that's when he actually felt it. He basically said to me like, oh, wow, now I understand. And now I've gotten some downloads on this. And so it really taught me a lot about how different every person is with their relationship with plants and their dosage that is perfect for them. So yeah, next time someone asks me how much they should take, I really can't answer that for you. You just got to test it out for yourself. But in general, one gram is a good way to start. And if you're feeling adventurous, try three grams. You know, Terrence McKenna used to say, take five grams blindfolded in a dark room, and then you'll have your sort of heroic experience. But even that's not fully accurate because five grams for some people is just a normal trip. I think for me personally, if I want a heroic dose, I'm probably going to do seven to 10 grams. And I haven't done that in a while. That's dicey. You know, that's that can be quite risky. You have to make sure that you're in a good state, that you know what you're signing up for. You know, if you want that sort of trip, you're getting that sort of trip. Buy the ticket, take the ride sort of thing. In general, I, I tend to stick with five grams for myself. But uh, 
I am a curious cat. I like to explore. So every time I do mushrooms, I do sort of push the edge of how deep I want to go. I have not found any sort of punishment from the shrooms in the sense that I've never had them lecture me on taking too much. They always seem to be happy to explore as deep as I want to explore. And it's really just up to me of what kind of trip do I want. One trick that I like to use, which can be really helpful, is redosing. So you take a small dose in the first hour, maybe one gram, two grams. And then if you don't feel much by the one hour mark, so set a timer, set a stopwatch on your phone. If you don't feel much by one hour, you can then take more and that will impact the trip. That will take you deeper. You don't want to take more after the one hour mark because by that point, your tolerance is going to be building up in your body and it's not going to do much for you. It might extend the trip, but it will not take you deeper. But if you time it at around the one hour mark, 45 minutes to 60 minutes, that is the perfect time to check in with yourself and go, am I feeling much? Is this strong enough? And if it's not, one hour mark, perfect time to dip into the bag of shrooms and take a little more. I've done that multiple times and it, it's been it's been a great experience. These days, because I just know myself pretty well, I tend to just take the full dose that I want in the beginning. And I trust that whatever dose I take is exactly what I need. And it turns out to be true. But in the beginning, when I was not sure and I was calibrating, I would start with a small dose and then redose in an hour. Doses are tricky. You know, you, you are going to get those moments in life. If you do shrooms enough times, you're going to get a trip that's going to get dicey whether it's because of the environment or the people around you or you took too much. And so you want to get to a point where you can ride that wave no matter what happens, that you have enough experience that you can ride out whatever turbulence happens. Of course, the key is to have a good environment. That is absolutely number one. And then number two, either do a solo trip or have very good people around you. Those tend to be the two things that go wrong in a trip is bad environment, bad people. Uh, but if you've got those two down, you can probably handle, you know, you can probably handle any trip that, that comes your way. Oh, there's the third aspect, which is mindset, you know, and that is to have a clear enough mind that when those turbulent waves come, you're not thrown around too much, that you can maintain your center. That only comes with practice and meditation and doing trips um, or doing breath work, doing your practices, whatever your inner work is. So that you, you need to really know yourself and understand how deep you want to go, because the deeper you go, the deeper those waves can get. And so you really have to know your mind and know that you can handle that, that depth. One thing I've noticed is that the more times you do shrooms, you build a relationship with them. There's a welcoming back feeling. And sometimes it feels like each trip builds upon the previous one, almost like chapters in a book. And so that's been really cool to experience. It doesn't feel like each trip is a one-off. It feels like they're all part of a synchronicity. They're all part of this one timeline. And each one is giving you new clues and new insights that build upon everything you learned previously. Now, you also have to do your homework as well. So I found that if I don't do my homework from a previous trip, it'll come back in the next trip. And it's almost like the mushrooms are telling me, hey, what's up? Why, why didn't you do your homework um, from the last trip? So that's been maybe the only times where I felt like I got a lecture from the shrooms uh, but if I'm doing my homework and I'm doing it intentionally, really taking notes and, and integrating the experience after each trip, I feel like the mushrooms are always happy to receive me back. And so that's been a really beautiful relationship with the mushrooms. Well, I hope this has helped someone around the dosage question. I know it can be a tricky one, but there's really no set number that I can give any person other than to tell you to take it easy. Go gentle, start small, 
always remember that you can, there's always a next trip. You can always up your dose. You don't have to take the whole bag all in one time. Start small and you'll kind of find your own way. You'll, you'll feel your own comfort level. So you'll find your wings. And once you get that comfort with the shrooms and you understand that they're friendly to you, that you have a good experience on them as long as you take care of all the prep, uh, once you understand that, the number of grams question is kind of going to go away because it won't be so much about the precise number. It'll be about what kind of intention do you want? What kind of experience do you want? Because setting the intention is more important, I would say, than the precise number. If you set the intention to have a very strong trip, you might find that you could take a regular dose for you and have a very strong trip that equates to a higher dose. So like, there's been trips where I only took, let's say, three grams, four grams, but the strength of the trip was around six to seven grams, what I felt, you know, in my inner world, in my inner landscape. If you haven't checked out my other videos on the eight things you need to know before you do a trip, do check that out. I find that the preparation is not just about the amount of grams you're taking, it's about the intention. It's about going into it with a pure spirit. It's about understanding what you want to learn from the shrooms. It's about having that good environment and that sacred space for you to do the trip in. So if you get all those aspects right, you're pretty much guaranteed to have a transformational experience as as long as you've done that prep. So do check out that video. I think that will help you to prepare and to have a good trip. And feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, you can contact me at jameszander.com. There is a newsletter there and you can also email me there as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.